you're not eating. That's not like you. Too worried about Jessica. Aren't you? What kind of a question is that? Of course I am. Why would you even ask me that? Well, you didn't seem to have a problem here. What is that supposed to mean? Pardon me. Dr. Lord, right? Right. Menu, please. I need to pick up some food for my niece. Sure. But don't you have flunkies to do that for you? Dorian. Miles. Well, what brings you here? Ah, Rhodey's famous hamburgers. I love them. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. I don't have time to chat. All I have on my mind right now is getting some food for my grandniece. So, excuse me. Where is that menu, please? What, are you annoyed because I ate my dinner? No, of course not. I'm just wondering. Clint, I was hungry, okay? I've been at the hospital all day long. You can't eat the cafeteria food. It's disgusting. I have a heart condition. I'm supposed to take care of myself. I cannot be there for Jessica if I'm sick, and neither can you. I don't think my skipping one meal is going to make me incapable of being strong for my daughter. What, are you trying to make me feel guilty because I ate food? I'm just trying to make conversation. Make conversation? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You want to make conversation? Fine. Let's talk about Ace. Oh, let's talk about the election. That'd be fun. I don't think I'm up for that tonight, I'm sorry to say. Look, I have to concentrate on being positive, OK? I have to believe that Jessica will survive this. I'd like to believe that, too, but I can't put on a happy face when I'm worried sick. And I'm not inclined to wishful thinking the way you are. No, of course not, because you need people to tell you definitively and unequivocally that Jessica will be fine. You want assurances? They can't give you that. Nobody can. So you might just as well eat your dinner and get some sleep, or you'll give yourself a stroke. Is that more wishful thinking? Excuse me. It's my Aunt Dorian. Good. Why don't you get it? I am going to make my getaway. Aunt Dorian? Star, darling. I am here at Rhodey's, and I just want to be sure. Now, you wanted a hamburger and pommes frites, oui? Yeah, that's great. Yes, but what would you like on your hamburger? I know you said the works, but um, I don't want to assume too much about the staff's intelligence. No, y you know what? Just, just forget about it. I'm here with Mrs. McBain, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be. At school? Oh, is it about the musical? Yeah. Darling, I am so glad that you're involved with that. It's, it's something to keep your mind off of what's happening with your father. You know, um, I really got to go, Aunt Dorian. I'll grab something on the way home. Goodbye, Cherie. <sighs> so sorry, I won't be ordering after all. No problem. Mm. All right. What do you want? I don't have too much time, so make it fast. I just was going to ask you if you've heard from Blair and if she had any luck finding out what happened to Todd. No and no. I'm really worried for both of them. So am I. Excuse me. Should I call her? What? Blair. Oh, really? Why would she want to hear from you? You are the man who's responsible for the fact that Todd went chasing off to, to Chicago into what was obviously a trap. That came from Spencer. All I did was relay the information to Todd that I found in Spencer's letter. Without verifying its veracity. I had no way of doing that. But you did know that Spencer didn't wish Todd any good. Or didn't you get to that yet in the chapter about deductive reasoning in the new book of human experience? Oh, just because I'm not jaded and cynical? I can't debate with you. I really don't have the time. Mm -hmm. The fact remains, motives aside, you're the one who is responsible for Todd going to Chicago. You are responsible for his disappearance, and it is all of it on your head. I don't wish you any harm. I was merely suggesting you take care of yourself. Well, I suggest you stop worrying about me and put your focus on our daughter. See, there you go again. What are you insinuating? Nothing. 
Ah, this whole conversation has been a one big misunderstanding and a waste of time. Why don't we just get the chick? Hello. Hi. Oh, am I interrupting something? Yes, you are, but that's okay. <laughs> Talk about a total waste of time. Excuse me? Uh, Jessica is resting and we're waiting on the results for her liver biopsy. Oh, yes. And of course, I hope and pray that it'll be all right. Thank you very much. Would, uh, would you care to join us? You wouldn't mind, would you? Are you kidding? Oh, I hope you're not leaving on my account. No. No, I'm not leaving, Dorian. I'm moving to a better table. And yes, it's because of you. Thank you so much for dinner, Clint. Sorry I ate it. That didn't go well, so I'm not sorry it's over. <laughs>